Welcome to the Swimming From Home talk show. I'm here with Mike Bottom, who is out in the middle of a lake right now. Sheltering uh, in place. Sh sheltering in place, the best way to do it. Um, not even the fish can come within six feet. Yeah, um, yeah how, are, how are you doing today, Mike? What, what's your current situation? Uh, current situation is, where are you here? Where are you? I'm I'm uh, I'm out here with my two labs and and uh, enjoying the sunshine in Michigan. Uh, yeah. Just just uh, fired off uh, an email to the team announcing our captains, which is uh, always an exciting email for me to write because you know we we depend a lot on our leadership of our team uh, uh, as it from our captains and our, and and the team members. So uh, it's it's a a big weight off off of the coach's shoulders to, to have an understanding of where where the team wants to go and, and who they want to have them lead and, uh, and we've done that so it's pretty cool yeah what you know what has your how has your day-to-day -day changed in the last couple of weeks um you know your role as a head coach a lot of zoom meetings and the blue jean meetings and um, calls you know, we're still doing recruiting. We're not writing. We're not writing. Uh, we're not allowed to write any kind of workouts at all. Uh, but at, at this point, we're just trying to communicate with our teams uh, and make sure that everybody's good, and families are safe. Um, you know, f for me, it's been a great time because it's given me time to pause. To listen to Experience listening to David Marsh uh, in his interview uh, the other day, um, and and you know it's it's good to to evaluate where we are, uh, or where we've been, and, and then understand that things are going to be different as we go forward. Yeah. So how how. How would you evaluate, you know, where, where we've been this past year, especially for, for your Michigan team? Well, I mean, we started out the year with some, with some issues with our pool and issues with the health and, and all of the things that we had to fight through. And the team came through it, uh, had a great midseason meet and, uh, and was gaining momentum through the Big Tens. Had some incredible swims at Big Tens, both on the men's and women's side. Had some incredible diving points scored. Uh, and, uh, you know, then we moved towards NC2As where we were all focused on. And, uh, and I'm sure that we weren't the only team that didn't completely taper for their conference meet. Uh, matter of fact, some of our, some of our, our uh, best swimmers were only a week, only had a week rest. Uh, and, and, you know, we were looking forward to being top four on both sides. And, uh, you know, doing some things that... Uh, winning some events and doing the things that everybody hopes to do, right? And, uh, and then, of course, we got hit with, uh, with our orders and uh, our directives. Uh, and then we needed to make those directives and, and orders. We needed to make those ours and, and uh, understand that, that our team was, was not, uh, that we were doing something even with the, the uh, giving up the NC2As. And I think that's that was an important part, an important transition for our team is to, you know, is to not be the victim in this uh, as the NC2A made the call and uh, as our university made the calls and the Big Ten made the calls uh, that we didn't, you know, that's what, I didn't want our team to feel like they were a victim, that they, we wanted to understand that what we were choosing to give up which is the end of the season uh, was for for a, a bigger goal and for a, something that uh, that we could be proud of, um, and I think that we can see re right now how quickly this, uh, you know, how we reduce the hump and how quickly this is turning around. Um, here in Washington County, we've had a we had three days of of uh, plateau, and now uh, yesterday was. Uh, great day of, of reduction uh, in positive tests so uh, we're seeing that that we did make a difference um, 
And I think that this team did give up a lot. Um, but then when you're talking about life and death situations, uh, giving up an NC2A uh, opportunity is, is, becomes worth it, right? As long as you can see it in that perspective. Yeah, certainly. Um, and so, so where are you, where is your team at now? Did everyone head home? Do you do you still have post grads that are able to train? No, we we're, we're closed. Our pool is closed uh, under the order of our our, uh, our governor. Um, so we're we're not training. We had a there was you know before the Olympics was was postponed. We we were able to take some of our top. Uh, student athletes and uh, moved them to Oklahoma, <laughs> and uh, they moved to wow. Oklahoma to train uh, with with Sean Callen, uh, the the the, uh, the Trident uh, uh, Swim Club out in, uh, in Oklahoma, and uh, the, the the Callen family was so gracious, and uh, they had just opened the pool two weeks prior to our arrival. And, oh wow. It's a beautiful training facility there uh, near Tulsa. They were they were so gracious to allow our, our student athletes to, to train there, and uh, you know, Josh was writing workouts, and Rick was writing workouts, and I was cheering from the side, uh, trying to make things happen. Um, but that that happened for about a week and a half, and then when the announcement came, I think that was you know it was time for for everybody to to take some time off and, and, you know, kind of evaluate where they are personally and uh, kind of reset. Yeah. So th through this reset time, ha have you been able to, to talk to others and to kind of um, hear some insight that, that really helped you move through this time? I think that the, the most, uh, the most I've gotten out of this time is some great time with my family, you know, and I think that that's, that's been a wonderful experience for me. And, you know, as coaches, we just drive, we drive and we push and we, um, you know, we understand that the dreams of, of so many are, they're, they're reliant on our direction and our leadership. And, uh, there's, <laughs> There's a lot there, right? Especially if you are connected to your athletes, and you understand their, their pain. And, uh, so there's never a moment in your life uh, as a coach that, that you're not thinking about doing things better, right? And thinking about how to, how to be creative and, and get people to do, uh, do things uh, in a different way, uh, how to help them to reach their potential, how to, you know, there's just, and, and, you know, there's, there's so many things that we have to think about. So <clears throat> during this time, it's been great. To, I mean, the anxiety levels have come down. They're still there. <laughs> They're still there because we want to make sure that our, our programs are moving forward, even in, in, uh, in the stillness. But, uh, you know, the time that, that I've been able to spend with my girls, I have three, three girls, uh, uh, 14 13 and 9 and, uh, and then my wife uh, it's been it's been great uh, last night they were out there playing uh, uh, Monopoly the girls were and I just was just listening and, and uh, it's just fun fun to be around that that, uh, that time because we spend and I know every coach can agree with me it has kids and, you know, we spend so many so much uh, time raising everybody else's kids and so not on purpose, not, not with any intention, but sometimes we slip and, and don't get to see uh, the growth and the, the potential of our kids uh, at times. So it's been great. It's been a great, and, you know, this is, this is a great setting for, for the girls to, to be in. And uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to turn this thing around here so you can see the, uh, I don't think I don't know how to do this. Sorry, I just lost. You. <laughs> no worries. Because <laughs> um, I want you to see that one, the two dogs sitting here, uh, enjoying enjoying life, and then yeah, uh, 
get you back here. Huh. And that's the other thing is I'm learning how to use technology in different ways, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a whole different deal. Uh, but it's um, fun. No kidding. I, I, yeah, I had to learn how to do Zoom in like two days. Two days yeah. into the quarantine, and yeah, now it's like my my right hand. <laughs> that's that's all I'm doing. Well, you, you know, it's fun too. To, to like we had a yesterday. I'm sitting out here and talking to all the Big Ten coaches. We had a great Big Ten coaches meeting, and you know, it's a different it's a different day. You know, when we're talking about we're talking about how we can make sure that our sport stays strong. That that our student athletes get the experience that uh, that we want them to get that that uh, they deserve to get, uh, you know, uh, and all of the coaches were on the Zoom Zoom call and uh, we're talking about having uh, dual meet championships and uh, dual meet uh, brackets and fun stuff, different things that that uh, the Big Ten is we're going to explore. Uh, we're also talking about how we can do our part to, to reduce the budgets uh, because we know that, that we're in a place where our athletic departments are going to, uh, we're going to be stretched. So we're all working towards the goals of, uh, of, of making things as good and, and better, uh, but doing them differently. Well, oh. Uh, do, do you mean a dual meet championship like in place of a, a conference or NCAAs or just during, no, during just the regular kind of season? Add that, add that to us so that we're doing local travel as mm -hmm. opposed to flying different places. Um, and, we're, and we're getting um, more network coverage. You know? mm -hmm. I don't know if you were able to see the ACC Big Ten Challenge yeah. uh, on the, the, the Big Ten Network, but that was great great uh, experience both for the athletes and the coaches uh, that work together on that um, and I think this, the fans really love that and we're trying to re replicate that with some dual meets uh, dual meet brackets or uh, quad meets or something we're talking about different opportunities to do that yeah yeah I mean I know I for one got to go to the, that meet at, uh, in, at Purdue and that was a great experience um, yeah. You know, it gives us. I mean, we are in a place where we can uh, we can think about doing things a little bit different and uh, and doing them better, doing them with with less cost, uh, uh, with with uh, more exposure, uh, with great with, and have a better experience for our student athletes. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I guess that kind of takes us into moving forward, you know, are, are, are you still communicating with your team on a pretty regular basis? Uh, we have, we have team zooms, mm -hmm. uh, team zooms once a week is what, what our goal is. We've done, we've done, uh, we did one last week. We've done working on this week. Um, you know, and that's, that's part of, that's part of our, uh, our job right now is just to to make sure people are good, right? Uh, you know, the, this whole, you know, when this first started, I was a, I was a proponent of keeping the pools open, swimming people in one, one uh, you know, one person per lane or two people per lane going through. And, and the, you know, the reason is, is because our student athletes, uh, they rely on their training and their workouts and their time together uh, that's part of their health, right? Uh, yeah. Both physical and mental, and uh, and that's important. Right? It, it's important for us all to get out and, and do a little run or walk or something. But it's more important for uh, you know our, our student athletes who are so used to putting four hours in a day and uh, doing you know working together with people and. Uh, it's more important for them to get together as soon as, as, as quickly as we can. So, uh, we, you know, we started that with, with uh, Zoom calls and electing captains and having them and then meeting with, in smaller groups. And 
and then we, you know, we, we keep spreading hope, keep spreading hope. And that's the, that's also an important part of the process is that we're going to get through this and, uh, and then paint the picture of what it's going to look like. It's going to be, it's going to be exciting. We're going to get back together and we're going to get to, to do things outside and inside and, you know, things are going to be different, but, but, uh, but we're going to figure it out and we're going to get it done. And the fun thing is, is that, you know, if you look online, all the ideas, I mean, you guys are putting up ideas every day uh, that we're watching and we're looking at and we're enjoying, you know, some of the crazy things people are doing to, to keep in shape and, uh, and some of the funny videos that people are putting out. And it's just, uh, you know, I think as long as we're keeping connected to our community, our swimming community, our diving community, uh, I think that we're going to continue to, to grow as, as, as individuals. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that about says it all. Do you, do you have any closing thoughts, Mike? And I just hope that people uh, understand that, that we're, we're going through this together. Right? And that's, that's an important message is that there, there isn't anybody alone, no matter whether you're sheltering at home all by yourself as post grad, or you're, or you have a, a family that you're you're sheltering with, or wherever you are, you're not alone. We're all in this together. We're all going to get through it together. We're going to be on the other side of it. We're going to be back in competition. Uh, we're going to be, you know, we'll probably look at competition a little differently. We'll we'll be kind of happy to see our competitors uh, a little more yeah. than, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm uh, I'm hoping that we get this swim Ohio State twice next year because uh, you know Bill and I are talking about that so uh, it, it's it's we're going to get through it and we're going to do it together uh, and and it's important to understand that that we need each other yeah well awesome thanks a lot Mike all right man thanks for calling